Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Legend 2! We've got to put a stop to the monopoly the Shogun has in this world. <laughs> Banana Monopoly. <laughs> and we get a Dragon Sword! Alright. Can you imagine if they made a Monopoly game, Banana Edition? You know, like they made a Star Wars edition of the Monopoly game like that? <laughs> you roll six. You slip on a banana peel. Go back three spaces. You know, something like that. Eh. And we get a dragon shield. All right. Now, unlike the dragon sword, I will actually use that. Although the dragon sword can be sold for quite a lot of money. Oh, baby, we're going to have a lot of money after this world. Or after I'm done with this area, but yeah, in general. So let's see, where is that shogun anyway? He's got to be around here somewhere. And what are those mats on the ground there called? Is it just a mat, or is there a special name for a mat that a samurai uses? Aha! There's the Shogun! Why are you allowing bananas to remain illegal anyway? I mean, as long as you like the bananas. Let's take his treasure first. The Samurai Bow! One of the best weapons in the game. Nice thing about it is that it'll boost Laura's agility a lot. So let's give that to him there. That's huge. And also it attacks a group of enemies, not just, you know, a single enemy. So that's very nice there. So we'll be giving that to him. Uh, eventually I'll have it replace his tank cannon, but not right now. And I need to take a moment to heal up. So I'll take care of that and uh, be right back then. Okay, we're all set and ready to go. Uh, the only changes I made was I equipped Pyro with a healing staff there. And, uh, yeah, yeah, that should be pretty good there. Oh, and I also equipped Tink with the uh, Power Magi because I ran out of spell charges there. So, oh well. Unfortunately, I also don't have any uh, eye drops. Oh well. Woo -woo 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 -woo. Must be a fan, fan of the Three Stooges. Sorry, viewers, that's about the best curly impression you're going to be getting out of me. Now, the Shogun himself is not that hard, so we'll just take him out the old-fashioned way. So why are you making bananas illegal, Shogun? I mean, you seem to like bananas. The Echigoya likes bananas. The courts don't have a problem with the bananas, so... I, mean, I don't see what the problem is here. Are you trying to drive out competition or inflate the price of bananas? I don't know. I mean, I don't know how the drug cartel works when it's involved with the government like that. I don't know. Whoa, who's that guy? His dad? Magnate. Do you like Magnet Man? I like Magnet Man. And Taro still has nothing new to say. I guess he's the guy who's really in charge around here. Oh, so he's the one who's after the Magi, really, huh? You could also talk to those two statues and fight some dolphins or something. They're really hard and not worth it, so that's that. Same strategy as with uh, Shogun here, except we want to use the heal staff preemptively, because this guy has a tornado spell that can really kick your ass. So, yeah, there we go. Man, we gotta take this guy out, though. He's been manipulating the government, manipulating the courts, and everything. I mean, I guess it could be worse. It could be like Judge Dredd, you know. God, that was a terrible movie. I can't tell if Judge Dredd was such a bad movie that it was bad, or if it was so good it was good. It's kind of like Borderline there, you know? I don't know. It, it was a pretty bad movie, though. I like the whole samurai theme, though, that they've got with this world. You know, that was kind of nice. A bit of a storyline here. You know, government conspiracy and everything like that. You know, pretty pretty involved for a Game Boy game, you know? Kind of reminds me of an old card game I used to play, Legend of the Five Rings. That was a cool game. Do people still play that game? I mean, I know it's still around, but... Uh, I would have really gotten into that game more if, uh, you know, people around where I lived actually play it, you know, but, uh, you know, it's just, you know, ma at least where I lived, Magic the Gathering was more popular, so, I, you know, I kind of got into that game more, but I really liked Legend of the Five Rings. It had nice mechanics going and everything, and they had storyline tournaments and everything, so, like, people who 
uh, played the game could actually influence how the storyline moved on from there, you know? So that was kind of cool how they did that instead of magic, where it was like, well, if you, uh, you know, if, you know, one color or deck theme gets too powerful, we're just going to ban cards instead of actually changing things around, but... Hooray! We got him. All right. Well, I got lucky. I didn't get hit by Tornado, but yeah, that could really hurt. Oh, and he's got all the Magi around here. Yay! We brought peace to the Edo world. And we brought another couple together. Yay! Ten more to go. All right. Looks like I got all the Magi here, so uh, do I want to go to the next world or... Well, I want to restock on some stuff so, and sell some excess equipment. So I'm going to uh, head back to the village, take care of that, maybe even go back to some other worlds, and then I'll be right back. Okay, we're all set and ready to go. So I just did a little bit of shopping since last time. Sold all my excess stuff. We're going to need as much space in our inventory as possible for this next world. Picked up four ice books back at the Giant's World. Hold on to those elixirs because we'll want to use those. And also the Hakate boots, because the reason I don't want to equip them, if I didn't say so earlier, is because it'll hinder our innate mana stat growth. Because if I equip those, it'll look at our mana relative to our enemies, and we won't gain as much because we have a lot of mana with the Hakate boots equipped. So, there we are. So basically what I want to do is I want to use up the fire books as fast as I can, because... Basically, I've got, I don't need them. I've got uh, Tink to take care of all my fire needs for now. And by the time I get my next monster, I won't need fire anymore. So I'm not worried about that. Uh, so yeah, use those up as much as, as quickly as possible. Then start using the ice books, because more enemies are weak to ice than anything else. And then also I've equipped the heal stabs and the soft potions on Indy there, because uh, I want to clear up some inventory space. And we'll be using those elixirs, too, so don't you worry, viewers. This next world is called the Nasty World. That's literally what the game calls it, the Nasty World. Uh, great job, translators. It wasn't up to Woolsey this time. He only did the next game, but... Uh, yeah, this world is pretty nasty. Not so much because the enemies are hard, but it's just really, really long for a Game Boy game. Let's see how much Magi we have in this world anyway, just to make sure. Oh yeah, we got that Aegis Magi, I never used it. Eh, not that I care, but uh, yeah, we got uh, one Magi. This dungeon here is optional. You can just get the Magi and leave. Yeah, there's a reason why they call it the Nasty Dungeon. Huh, okay, well, we got the Pegasus Magi. It's like the door in the first game lets you go from one world to the other at will. So it's pretty nice, and you can just leave, go on to the next world if you like. But I want to show all the treasure that we can get in here. I will be skipping all the random battles in here, though. So, just so you know. There's no monster transformations that I care about in here. So, I'm ready to go. Now, on the first few floors, we'll be into running into level 8 monsters. As a result we'll be gaining a lot of stats. Of course, I failed to realize that a lot of enemies here are immune to uh, fire here. Oh well. Some of them are obvious, like Fire Moth. Yeah, yeah, they're immune to fire. Duh. Power Potion and a Body Potion, all right. Well, let's see. Normally, I would give it to uh, Indy, because normally he's higher in the order, but because I have the protection from weapon ability for Pyro, I want to give it to Pyro. I don't know why Pyro is getting so much more HP than Indy. Uh, you got me, viewers. I mean, he, he shouldn't even be close, but right now he's ahead, actually, with the body potions there. So, well, there we go. Let's uh, backtrack then. Well, so far the battles aren't too hard. Wow, I am just gaining stats like every battle. Ha 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 ha! Uh, let's see. Do I want to go left here? Oh, I, this is such a long place. I don't have this place memorized. Yeah, yeah. Let's go left first here. Or, it didn't matter. Okay. And we want to go up. Yes, yes, I remember now. Okay. 
You see all those random battles that I got tuned to on this floor? There are eight floors of that, and it only gets harder as we move along, which I'll be showing you next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy Legend 2! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!